So today is the big day. Uh, we get to sign our lease for Canal Place. We're in our production brewery floor. Uh, the total space is going to be about 60,000 square feet. Um, with me is everybody that's been involved for the last year, primarily working through the lease, um, getting contacts for the bank loans, um, and I have much thanks for them. Um, I'm going to start left to right. This is Jesse. He's my partner for uh, the current Arche Brewing. Um, this is Tom Franish from Hoffman Lake. Um, he showed me this space about a year ago after some other places in Canal Place that uh, I kind of said no to. They kept taking me deeper into more, uh, I guess, dingier areas of the facility. And, you know, I fell in love with this, this place uh, right when I saw it. It's got everything, space, room to grow, parking, and it's got, it's got the look. Um, and right here is my son Devin, my wife Carol, and my son Trevor. Um, they know what they're doing this summer vacation. Um, uh, the man behind is Steve Stoner from Canal Place. He's the property manager. And then we've got Christine and Kimberly from the Downtown Akron Partnership. Uh, Julie Pazeski from uh, the um, Mayor's Economic Development. And then, yeah. Yeah, and then we got Dave, who uh, is also with Canal Place. And I do have to say a special thanks to Julie, Christine, and Kimberly's uh, area, and also Heather, who cannot be here. Um, there were several meetings to get funding for this place, going through first the local big banks, and then through their contacts, and through their contacts, and then you know, we finally got to that one bank from their contacts that, you know, is very excited for this project. So this wouldn't have been able to come to fruition without, you know, their help. So, you know, they, a big round of applause for them and Akron. Um, so, um, back behind, we've got uh, Rick Arman. Um, he may have some questions for us while we're all here. Well, Ron, just why don't you say exactly what you're going to do here? So uh, the question was, what exactly are we going to do here? Um, we're looking to create a destination brewery tap room. So we've got the production brewery floor. We're looking to do an 8,000 square foot restaurant and tap room with a mezzanine that will overlook the entire production floor. If you've ever been to Rheingeist in Cincinnati, they have a similar setup. But uh, I'm hoping to do it a lot better. But uh, um, and we've got Missing Falls that's also currently working in this location, set to open possibly Memorial Day. Um, and we're looking for one to two other breweries to make this uh, beer tourism in Akron. And uh, Julie from the city and I have discussed, you know, getting an Akron Brewery District, you know, going with signage and support from the city. So that'll be the next phase now that we've got this lease signed. Well, also, let me ask, I mean, you've been successful down in the Merriman Valley. Why do you want to do a production brewery, a larger production brewery and restaurant? Okay, so the question was, we're successful in the valley. Why do we want to go bigger? Um, after our first year in the valley, we expanded about two and a half times beer volume, it all goes to the valley. There's no distribution hardly at all because there's just no excess capacity. So um, Jesse and I routinely tell people, no, we can't service your bar or restaurant or, or take on any distributors. Um, so that was the impetus to you know, look for a larger production space. And initially it was only going to be production. Um, uh, Tom showed us a few production-only properties, um, but then we started thinking and looking at this space, you know, let's expand the bar and restaurant, too. Um, we've got the people in this downtown area. Um, we're in a perfect location, and that's kind of how the trend towards breweries are going. Uh, you got your production brewery, and then you got your, you know, your bar and restaurant. And, and this process was really easy, right? 
I mean, I know you wrote all along on your log how simple it was, it was to... It was hurry up and wait. <laughs> um, it was easy enough. Uh, there were a lot of spreadsheets involved for the bank, a lot of revisions and numbers that I didn't even know existed. I had to figure out. Um, and I do have to, even though obviously one bank financed us, all the ones that came before this one bank, they still helped a lot. You know, they helped, you know, get the business plan and the numbers better. I learned things from what a bank looks for. Um, ratios of these numbers to that, and that's how I could start thinking, oh, what are they looking for from me? Instead of me just telling them my best case scenario. Sure. They want worst case scenarios and lots of numbers. So I do have to thank all the prior banks that have helped me along the way. And, and what size system are you going to have here for the production facility? So there will be a 20 barrel system, similar to Thirsty Dog. It'll allow us to grow into it, just keep adding fermenters for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And can you talk about like what, what is the financial investment? Uh, all said and done, I hope this doesn't get much over $2 million. Uh, the majority of the funding will be done. We're closing with the bank now, um, but with a few other miscellaneous things, $2 million. And one of the most important questions I think a lot of people would want to know is when do you th think you, you'll be able to open? And I know there's always delays. Yeah. Or wh What's your target at this point? Uh, the target is end of the year. If we can get out, I don't think Thanksgiving is going to work. That's a big season. Um, if we can open up before Christmas, that would be nice. Uh, equipment lead time is six months, so that, that goes half the year. Mm -hmm. um, after I sign this tomorrow, I'm moving my office into here, and a lot of work has to be done to start doing some demo and lighting everything up. Okay. And uh, now I'm trying to, I just lost my uh, next question. Oh, I was going to ask about the, the restaurant. Is, is there a particular bent on the restaurant? Is it going to be sandwiches and burgers, pizza? It will be. High end Italian? Uh, what, what kind of restaurant are you looking at? Sandwiches, burgers, pizza. Okay. So we're going to also do our, our own homemade bread. We're going to do our own pizza, possibly with spent grain, the bread, uh, some fryer. So it'll be an expanded menu from what we offer in the valley. Right. with more standard bar fare that people want. And how is it, how exciting is it to get to this day, at least this step? It's been a long time coming. Um, it's very exciting. There's, there's been so much work up until this point and kind of getting the valley to run itself. I have to thank Jesse and my wife with that, you know, because um, I'm not going to, other than for some creative beer recipes. I'm going to be here full time. So um, there was a lot to line up and uh, no, it's uh, there's going to be a lot more work now going forward, but it's all been specked out from just waiting the last couple of months. And can you talk a little bit about your vision for a brewery district? I know I don't tell me like how far the district, I mean, does it include Thirsty Dog? Does it include acronym LOCK15 or Correct. Are you just it goes all the way from Lock 15. What end is that called? The north side? Um, yes, and then down the hill towards the new, um, the lofts will have a brewery and okay. restaurant. That's Lock 15 yes. brewing, yeah. Yeah, so from so it's there. So beyond, beyond okay. our side. Okay. From there all the way up to this side. And Thirsty Dog's right up there. They're definitely in. Um, so then you got Acronym, Lock 15, Missing Falls, right. Us, and whoever else wants and, to. And you're hoping to get maybe a couple more under this same roof even? That would be nice. The more, ironically, the more breweries in one place, as in the Cleveland Market mm -hmm. District, uh, it's a destination. People can meander to all the other places. Sure. Does, it, does anybody else want to say anything regarding kind of the brewery district or, or this day coming where, with the production facility here? Now, and actually, I do have to uh, disclose, 
Dave gave me keys to this place three months ago because he was tired of me calling him <laughs> to get weather. <laughs> so, so. And it's right in line with the mayor's initiatives for downtown development, jobs, and making it a destination again with revitalization. Sure. So. Okay. So. All right. You're gonna officially sign the paperwork. Sign the paperwork. Three copies. And what exactly are you signing here? Is it the bank loan or is it the... Uh, this is the actual lease. Lease? Okay. So uh, I believe Canal Place has been for 16 years. Yeah. Oh, and vice versa. <laughs> so, no, thank you all. Yeah.